be recorded for quality purposes. We get a part number retail price for a main control board for a Frigidaire. Model number is going to be Papa Lima Golf Sierra 3 8 9 Echo Charlie Delta. And you said the main board? Yes, the main control board and also the regulator and safety stuff. I can give you the part number for that main board, but unfortunately it has been discontinued. All right. Well, I do thank you. Yeah, no problem. Is there anything else I can help you with? Um, no. Is the safety stamp still available? Um. And the regulator. showing two safety thermostats on here and they are both still available okay okay i do thank you and what is what is, what is yeah. the retail price for it um so for one of the safety thermostats is 76.55 the other one is 1827, mm -hmm. and then the pressure regulator is 7707. Okay. Well, I do thank you very much. Yeah, no problem. You have a great rest of your day. I will. Bye-bye. Yeah, bye -bye. just like myself and others, the question that we are all pondering, the industry of appliance repair and parts, sustainability of our parts when purchasing replacement parts, question that I then challenge to figure out and to also answer is why is it that our appliances, our brand new appliances are practically cheaper and high end value versus mid range, low end. They're actually cheaper than what we used to pay five to 10 years ago in high end status. We were comfortable paying $2,000 for high end because we knew the parts would be available and it wouldn't be that expensive and we can do a repair probably about maybe at the most uh, half the cost new but for whatever reason well current times and, and events for all the reasons of the current times and advancement of electronics and technology and moving forward in uh, the advancement of just economics uh, and the problems we're having with obtaining raw materials for electronic control boards to be manufactured on the level in which Intel in uh, Oregon just received uh, the EUV machine that's making all of the next revolution of electronics. Uh, that machine has been in operation since I believe it's six months now. And so this is at the beginning phase of the changeout. And the machine that we're talking about is a lithography machine. Um, and that's, that's the machine that makes the uh, control boards, uh, keeping it on a general level. I'll, in the description, I'll put the link that will break it down to a more in-depth detail for those who want to know what's going on with these electronic control parts and boards and all of our supplies right this time are well minimum wage is thirty thousand dollars a year so keeping up with inflation those parts are marked up current times and economics are marked up based off of our minimum wage. In our area, in our region, our minimum wage is $15 an hour. So $130 so for an eight-hour day. And so in replacing parts, All right. well, I do thank contractors you. are used to getting parts yeah, no problem. Relative, is there relative, relative, you with? relatively um, no. cheaper by 62%. I've seen over the years, these parts are now being sold 
at regular price for contractors discounted price and an additional markup because of inflation about 45 percent uh, yeah, the regulator is and that's just constantly doing part checks of retail purchase new and doing parts checks of what components are available for repairs they're almost balancing out equal and some of the major uh, is the components in which we are generally easy uh, access to well those components are 80 percent of appliances uh, yeah, the regular 2005 is. 2010 stretching to 2015 it seems to me a good portion of those products that we would sustain as a repair, those are those those are the products that are now being taken out of the homes. And they're not being repaired because the parts cost practically the same price as the brand new purchase of the machine. And then what's so extra attractive is that the savings of a high-end machine has now been discounted down to mid-range prices in which you can buy a high-end machine that the machines that we couldn't afford at the time that we saved up or maybe use our tax returns to purchase as a big buck purchase save up item purchase well those items are now reasonable under I see on average they're keeping those prices regular price discounted to <laughs> under a thousand dollars that you normally would have spent regular price uh, twelve hundred dollars and in times of when these first came out you would have spent and those out there remember when they used to spend two thousand dollars for these units fifteen hundred dollars at the minimum because we wanted good quality machines and so this is what I'm seeing. And this is what I'm reporting. And so until these new appliances come out and then they break and then those parts are capable of being manufactured because it's transistors, LCD screens, not lights, not jingles or pretty buttons anymore. These are now TV screens, similar to your cell phone, similar to your Wi-Fi connections, advanced notice. Some appliances will even notify service through your third party provider, which I'm sure they're gonna have a service network put together to notify automatically that the appliance that you purchase and these are concept designs in the workings or, or if they don't already exist and haven't been reported yet but the product will actually notify you may even go as far as notifying you when there's a problem notifying you when a part is failing it may even go as far as ordering the part notifying you that a part has been ordered <laughs> providing income via paypal zil uh, all of these internet financial digital wallets that are coming out and have the part shipped to your your home with a date and time in which the authorized personnel of that name brand will be at your home to install the part for you rather it be under warranty or if you have a third party out of warranty provider for a maintenance plan and so the advancements of the industry and the new convenience of service uh, for our, the younger generation uh, so that 
the older generation will finally stop complaining about these appliances that are not repairable. And so it takes a 15 to 20 year process to do a complete phase out. And so the generation of which is mine, uh, of 2000, early 2000 in the industry, and as far as uh, social development and expectations of purchases and maintenance and retain as a young homeowner in the age group of 35 to 40 maybe or maybe even younger well uh, these are the changes in which are being prepared for their experiences of their appliance repairs and not an appliance nightmare and so one thing I do notice that we have to have in place is a large provider, such as Sears, in that aptitude nationwide. And that way we can have more control. We can uh, have a c consumer report input on the design and the purchase of the repair of the new part purchase of the part replacement to do a repair I think because that old model is destroyed and inflation says $30,000 for minimum wage and life expenses have increased they are expecting us to settle for these high prices without explanation and this has been the case for the last five years that I've seen and that would be upon checking on price check for repairs finding out that the electronics current to date 80% of the boards are non-available. Current to date, 20% of the boards are retail purchased as much as four to five hundred dollars. In comparison to retail purchase, in which you can buy mid-range products for low-end prices, discounted three, four, five hundred dollars, depending on if it's a large appliance such as refrigerators. Refrigerators on average savings are about four hundred dollars the washers and dryers on average savings are about 250 and the other appliances that follow they'll follow the same model they'll be discounted to what a repair would be and in some cases the repairs are about what the cost of the appliance is by less than $75 or maybe even $175 because the part is $250 you add another $100 of labor and service or trip charge and that would be half the cost or three-fourths the cost depending on what they're charging so these are our current times and, uh, and conditions in which we have to adjust and the more we use our sources that we have available such as the media social media outlets and all the other platforms that should help curve some of this anxiety of having to do another purchase of a new appliance within three years which sounds normal now five years ago my generation would have had a fit about that now i don't mind age dating myself and so yes, I have a difficult time accepting this change out, but once it's completed, then things will settle and we'll get back to normal. We'll be able to access parts online. We'll know how to access parts online individually. Uh, the goal is self-sustainability. The goal is independency. Uh, the goal is to be able to do as much as your own repairs as possible. DIY, uh, that was the start of the 
uh, revolution of doing your repairs. Using YouTube as a YouTube tutorial is not a very good idea, but I use it for general information. We can all now at least talk on the same general level so I can at least understand the process versus someone charging me a, sound, a certain amount of money because of uh, con tradition and they don't know why uh, the control board fails and then they don't know why the parts no longer available and then they don't know what to offer you as a solution or even how to just walk away from a situation basically we have to replace if it's an electronic issue you're going to end up replacing that unit and so we can get the old appliances out of the homes unfortunately that's what's going on and those are our raw materials the advancement of electronics are now in full status full steam ahead looking forward to our future